owned by them. That's why they have power. It's owned by them. And the popes that have been appointed under the Roman cult are all anti-pope. And they're only anti-pope because they usurped true Catholic religion formed in the 8th century. And if you want to know an interesting date, the date that the first French Catholic Pope arrived in Rome was 751, the year 751. And if you add 1260 years, which is one interpretation of Daniel, to that, the end of the reign is 2011. Happens to be this year. Okay? Wow, very interesting. We have a remark here to, uh, as a remind, for a reminder of a, a closing response to Ray. I missed that. Sorry, what was that little bit then? Uh, this just was a quick reminder for your uh, closing response to Ray. Ona. Oh uh, yes, what just Ona? What that means? Okay. All right. Um. Next question from the chat here. Um, let's see. I, there was a question here. Um, oh, it looks like someone answered it on the on the chat here, asking for where the piece, uh, what where the document is, or what document explains what the piece stands for on the passport. Um, and it, I believe that Gerald is working on that as we speak, or he did already send a link um, that we can get to. Um, all right, Frank, anything else that we can uh, cover as a wrap-up tonight? Well, I think let's let's wrap up. Um, okay. And I just want to thank, again, I want to thank everyone for their patience with what we're doing. I want to thank everyone for their bravery and, and interest in, in this and talking with others and sharing with others. Uh, for everyone, it's not easy. Surviving is not easy. Um, putting your head up and being prepared to make a stand is not easy. The reason the system has survived for so long is because people haven't stood up, because we have been browbeaten down, because our ancestors felt that it was easier to survive than to uh, stand and, and say enough's enough. But everything around us is changing. And even though it seems that time on this is plodding and taking slow, they had hundreds of years to build their system, hundreds of years. And what we are doing is uncovering their core powers in days, in weeks. So I look forward to seeing that we will have those changes in the remedy packages. I look forward to seeing the finalisation. I definitely look forward to seeing the finalisation of positive law and the updating of the numbers for ecclesiastical law. But I just want to thank everybody. Uh, I try my best, and I do appreciate all that you are all doing. So thanks again, Terry, and I really appreciate your hosting tonight. Um, thank you for your comments, and thanks for your uh, help in this. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you and with everyone same time next week. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Frank. Hey, Frank, could you wrap up with this one question regarding the Mayans and their calendar? Um, in uh, the 3114 BC, the Mayans began the calendar. Uh, was Elba or was Ebla destroyed at about that time? No, Ebla, Ebla had uh, two major destructions. Uh, it, it, its first destruction was at the hand of uh, Mari, the city of Mari that worshipped dark and uh, the, the, what I call the Maru. And later on, we know them as the Am Maru or the Amorites. Uh, and that was destroyed around about uh, 2700, 2600 was the first. And uh, they got the city back up again. But then the city appeared to go through, um, in fact, three destructions. Under the time of Sargon the Great, uh, Sargon attacked Ebla, the city of Ebla, around about 2200. Um, and it appears that it, it was finally uh, spent as a city by about uh, 1800, 1900 BCE. So 
Uh, that seems to be the time period for Ebla. Very good. Thank you, Frank. And uh, with that, I would like to uh, thank everyone for joining us tonight. Thank you for your participation and uh, great call tonight, Frank. I uh, appreciate all the great information you shared and the updates and um, inspires us all to get back out there and read what's out there, what the changes are, and uh, new information. And we can uh, also, you know, with everything that you added, it's great information to add to give to those that that we've just been talking about, those that are just on the brink of, you know, getting into the truth and that we're helping to wake up. So that's exciting. And uh, those that have situations in court and just kind of understanding and comprehending, I should say, the uh, terms and the true meanings of what we're faced with. So thank you again. And uh, we'll look forward to next week, same time, same place. Yes, absolutely. All right, great. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And that's a wrap for tonight. Thank you all for your questions. And thank you, Frank. Thank you, Terry. Good night, everyone. All right, have a good day.